Welcome to my Double Glove Golf YouTube channel and welcome to North Hill Country Club in Duxbury, Massachusetts. We'll start off the round, ease into the round with a shortish par 5, 480 yards down the hill. Popped up my drive a little bit here, but still had a good chance to get in with a 3-wood. I did miss filming that, but I wound up greenside here with a tough little pitch that I did a good job with. This was able to run out down the hill and just have a little tap in for birdie. Great way to start. Thank you, Napoleon, buddy. Woo! All right, second hole, three wood, back up the hill. Hit this one down the right side. Was drawing a little bit more back to the left. That shot tracer will show you, but wound up in a good spot here. Six iron, uphill 180. Got the shot shape coming in right to left. This came in a bit hot, so it looks better than it really was. It chased back, wound up with about 15 yards past. Chipped that up there to about four feet. And I'm lining this thing up, looking for a par. We'll see what we get. And bang, that's right. Yep. All right, Kip. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. All right, third hole, driver, down the hill, about 400 yards. This one was starting on the tree line, drawing a tiny bit back, hung out in the right rough, and fortunately came up short of the hazard. You'll see about 20 yards in front of me. Now I had an 8-iron up the hill. It was playing more like 160. I think 148 was the number, but it's uphill. And I didn't quite get it up there. Um, and I, as you'll see in the next frame, I didn't quite get myself in the frame. So there's the ball. That did come off a club. That did not come out of my hand. Uh, and I'm left with about I think, 7, 8 feet up the hill. Buzz the edge for the par putt. Staring out of bogey here. And we'll finish up for bogey. Yeah, not happy. Not happy about that. All right, fourth hole, par three, 188 down the hill. Sorry about the two flags. You probably see the little flag on the left. That is actually my target. And this ball went a little further right than that shot tracer showed you. Um, here I'm just looking at throwing this high in the air, trying to get it stop. You know, use the trajectory because these pins were actually, <clears throat> the greens were running really quick, really quick here. So I probably had about six feet to clean up for par. And you'll see here I buzzed the edge. Played too much break, hit a decent putt. Comebacker here for bogey. This is for the second bogey in a row. Hopefully not starting the bogey train. Yeah, well, hopefully we're not. So shortest par four up the hill, 270. Playing more like 280, 285. Got driver here. Shot tracer missed it, <clears throat> but it was a uh, little draw back towards the right green side bunker. And fortunately, I came up short here, but now I do need to flop over it to get at the pin. And nope. Flopped it right into the trap. Yeah. Yeah. Missed the bunker shot. Like I said, I'm a newbie hit this, so my editing will get better in the future. Anyway, we got a par putt. So let's bear down. Let's grind it out. A little left to righter. And yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, Kip. That's right, buddy. All right. Next, sixth hole. Par five. Up the hill. Only 460, but it's playing uphill into the wind. Um, so still a decent one to get home. Here I have a four iron for 180, but I'm playing it more like 200. Ball was well above my feet, so I'm playing for a lot of right to left movement, and I do find the dance floor. Happy with that. So we have a look at Eagle from about 40, 50 feet. I run this one by, didn't leave it short. Never want to leave those Eagle putts short. Then I have a birdie coming back, and yeah, not what we, not what we wanted. And yeah, we'll tap it in for par and move on. The seventh hole here, par four, four, sorry, 320 down the hill. Good drive will normally put me down there with a little pitch up to the green. This one was more of a snap hook down towards the eighth tee box. So I'm punching a six iron back up into the bunker. Anything over the screen is dead, out of bounds. So bunker was the play. Try to get up and down here. Thought I hit a really good one here. Get a little excited, run up the slope. And it did kind of trickle out on me to about 10, 12 feet. Decent look at par, and we buzz the edge. So we'll uh, finish up for bogey. All right, moving on. Yep, moving on to the eighth hole, par three, 170 yards. I took a six iron. This felt like it was into the wind, but I had way too much club. Hit a little draw, and you'll see I'm over the back of the green. 20 yards to go or so. Everything's running away from me. I'm trying to throw this one high and soft. Did the best I pretty much could. But as you'll see in a second, I'm about 15 feet away, at least uphill for a par. So we'll line this up, we'll take our practice stroke, and we'll give it a firm 
it up the slope. And we made it. Boom. All right. Thank you, shooter. All right. Ninth hole. Here we coming home towards the clubhouse. 367 yard par four. Nice little drive up the left center. Leaves me about 98 yards. I take my 52 degree and try to hit a three quarter shot. This was downwind. Just trying to flight the ball a little lower. Um, and still, even doing that, I ran through. Just clubbed a little bit. A little pitch coming back. You can see this one keep trickling, trickling, going, going, and just have about a foot left to tap it in for our par. Finish up at plus two. That's right. That's right. And our stats. So four, seven fairways hit. Two out of nine greens hit. Hope to see that number go up. Four out of seven scrambling. Good day on scrambling. Only 14 putts. One birdie. Five pars. Three bogeys. Score was plus two, a 38. And we will be playing the back nine from the blue tees coming soon to the channel. So please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.